Well now, don't you all look disappointed. Don't tell me that your investigation came up empty-handed. Oh, hold on, Missy. That was to be expected, of course. Hmm. The guilty can never produce proof of their innocence. Oh, is that true? But don't let that stop you. I shall be terribly disappointed should you, my most anticipated foe, concede so easily. Just you wait. Since both parties are present, I declare that the trial regarding the magic show incident is now in session. Oh, here we go. Firstly, in order for the audience to understand the causes and results of the incident, could we please have Mr. Linney explain the trick? Yes, of course. I will explain while Lynette demonstrates on stage. All the necessary items have been prepared. Linny clearly reveals the details of the magic trick. Everyone in the audience is stunned. Thank you, Mr. Linny. In that case, I take your statement to be that you ran to and remained hidden within the magic box in the audience stands once the trick began, and thus could not have committed the crime. Is this correct? Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. In that case, I call upon the prosecution, Lady Farina. Do you wish to refute his statement in any way? Why, of course I do. Allow me to take the first shot and break this case wide open. Mr. Linney is clearly lying. She did the thing, chat. Objection. <laughs> Yo, that's a, that's a freaking, um, uh, that's a thumbnail right there. And I just, the easiest thumbnail of my life. Just this and just the, uh, the classic objection quote right in that empty space right there. Mwah. Perfect. You know what? I'm taking that screenshot right now. Hold on. <laughs> Easy. There is no way you could have been in the box the whole time if you were to abduct Halsey and murder Cowell. In fact, I'd say you were hardly in that tunnel at all. That is simply your hypothesis based on the presumption that I'm guilty. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that so? And if I may ask, what did you hear while you were inside your box? The roaring countdown of the crowd, of course. That's how I kept track of the time and built anticipation for the finale. And you didn't hear anything else at all? Nothing that might leave an impression of any kind? No, nothing. I see. But when the count reached 30 seconds or so, there was a thud. One so loud that I believe practically everyone heard it. Huh? Hey, hang on. Something's not right here. Wait, what? How could Lenny not know that? Oh. Yeah, I'm sure he could have heard a noise that loud from inside the box. He didn't hear a thud. I was right by the box, and I definitely heard the thud. Oh. Look at those scales. Could those mean... It represents the Orish's stance on the trial. Oh, I see. And it's leaning in her favor. <laughs> well then, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to use the words of the magician himself. You never know what can happen in the blink of an eye. Indeed, it seems his alibi can also collapse in the blink of an eye. Well, if he wasn't aware of the bang, that means he would have had to have been somewhere that he he couldn't hear it. Of course. I have armed myself to do far more than smash your alibi. Confidence cannot go unfounded, and my foundations are rock solid. Hmm. Tell me, aren't you and Lynette actually from the House of the Heart? House of the what? Oh, this music. The House of the Heart? The effort <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> no wonder they did something like this. So the serial disappearances were the Fatui's doing. Now it all makes sense. I've got a feeling that what happened on stage probably wasn't just an accident. Is Alicino like their big sister? That's irrelevant. Our identities have nothing to do with what happened. Hmm. So they're for Tui? Indeed. Then perhaps you could tell us everything that happened during that one minute. She's their father? Your first priority father? is to prove yourself innocent after all. I'm sure there is little that needs to be kept secret now. Unless your script already has holes in it. The 
Outlander is speechless. My, oh my, don't they look flabbergasted. <laughs> now comes the infighting in Discord, I suppose. This was almost too easy. Mm. Oh, good thing I made all those preparations. Seems the all-nighter I pulled last night is really pain. <laughs> the all-nighter she pulled off. Okay, she put the work in. I speed that. I like like she's giving me like Sakura Haruno vibes from Naruto. You know, she's like her inner thoughts, and they're like represented by like a black and white vision of herself. I actually really like that. Hmm. Hey, Linny, why didn't you tell us this before? Linny and Linny are for Tui. Order, order, Mr. Linny. Allow me to re-establish the facts. Lady Farina has raised two points. First, when the thud was heard in the Opera House, you were neither in the box nor the tunnel. Second, you and Ms. Lynette are both members of the House of the Hearth. Hmm. Are these claims true? <sighs> There's no doubt that about that magician's ability to con others. Given how Lenny has concealed his identity, this could all have been set up beforehand. Plus, Child is here in Fontaine, along with the other house operatives. There must be some scheme at work here. Yeah. I've been a victim of such schemes before, and now. Please oh. answer my question, Mr. Linney. I'm sorry. Aw. Yes, they're true, Your Honor. Hmm. I knew it! Well, that's it. We might as well move on to the sentencing already. Hmm. What should we do now? Permission to speak, Your Honor. Granted. Objection. My client has withheld some key information. Defense cannot proceed. In that case, what is your request? I increased a brief adorn adjournment. There are things that must be discussed. Is that really necessary? They're already as good as guilty. Shut your face. The defendant Shut their your own face. Attorneys. What is there Shh. left to discuss? Hey. Order! Order, I say! Thank you, sir. Your request is reasonable, and we shall adjourn. This trial will reconvene in one hour. Based. <laughs> so, you would stick to Mr. Linney's defense even after knowing what you do now? You certainly have more professionalism than I thought. Hmm. In that case, my dear audience, let's allow the joy of victory to steep for a little while longer. <laughs> Gosh, she's a little shit. <laughs> Jesus. Hmm. While court is adjourned, you meet with Linnea Linnea backstage in the opera house. Well, this is awkward. I didn't think the Hydro Archon would dig all that up. Hmm. I'm sorry, Traveler and Paimon. Hmm. Yeah, sorry. Ugh. Paimon just knew where to start. We trusted you two. So they're for Tui, but... We based our entire reasoning on the assumption that you weren't bad guys. Not to set the wrong tone or anything, but Paimon's really mad. I'm very sorry. I know you're angry, and reasonably so, but please, let me explain. I know you've clashed with the Vatui several times before. I wouldn't be surprised if just hearing the word is enough to make you upset. But our organization is very, very large, and the Harbingers have very different personalities and goals. That's true. Right now, we want to save people. As many as we can. That's right. I'm sure we're on the same page when it comes to this nation and the disaster that its people might face. I knew if it weren't for our respective identities, we could become good friends. That's why I didn't wish to flat out lie to you, but chose to hide some details instead. The truth is very important, but... Being completely transparent about everything would see us spending more effort than we need to. But how can we know this isn't all just another lie? Right. So, you be the judge. Mm. Heck, if I were you, I fear that I'd even struggle to trust me at this point. Mm. You met a Fatus who works as a magician, a trickster by trade. All by coincidence, too. But still, I'm asking you to trust me. I am no criminal. At least, not in this case. Sorry. Please forgive us. Well, you both say that, but... Hmm. Hmm. Explain the other issue first. Where did you actually go while the trick was performed? Right. Let's hear your answer first, and no lies now! 
Of course. I'll answer any question you ask. We've been trying to find out how the Oratrice operates. We want to know why it has a consciousness. Why can it deliver sentences accurately? During our investigations, we learned that the machine's core is beneath it. From that moment on, Lynette and I have been designing this box swap trick with the objective of getting close to the core. Hmm. Is that why you needed a whole minute? That's right. In truth, the audience would take about 75 seconds to count down from 60, while I would only need 15 to get to the opposite box. So, after jumping into the tunnel, I accessed the Opera House basement via the vent, and went to investigate the room in which the core is stored. That air vent was created during the construction of the tunnel specifically to execute this step. And what did you find? Well, nothing. As soon as I reached that room and was about to investigate, I heard someone's voice. Oh, is it the same as before? Which should have been impossible, of course. I was quite certain that I was the only one in the room. Is it the same voice we heard before, uh, outside the fountain? That voice seemed to recognize me and tried to speak oh, no. to me. I chose to err on the side of caution and retreated the way I came. On the way back, I saw the broken vase and the clothes on the ground. But the countdown was almost finished, so there wasn't time to give it any thought. Hmm. After that, the homicide occurred just as you saw. Well, that explains why you didn't hear the thud. Oh. But why would you want to understand how the uh, Oratrices operates? Because of that prophecy I Oratrice. told you about, of course. We must know all we can about this nation's secrets in order to deal with that prophesized crisis. Hmm. That's the only way we can save everyone. So, there you have it. The whole truth. I swear, I didn't hide anything from you this time. It was never my wish to proceed under this cloud of mistrust either. But, like I said earlier, you can be the judge. If you want to leave because you don't trust the Fatui, there's nothing I can do to stop you. Well, Traveler, you decide. Paimo will follow your lead however you choose. I believe in the facts. That means, um, Fremene is a Fatui too, right? Hmm. I'll defend you from these charges. I believe that judgment will be, will be dispensed as it should. Okay. Thank you. Hmm. Thanks for giving us a chance. The current problem is that the scales are tipped pretty badly against you two. If we want to refute the Hydro Archon's accusations, we're gonna need a seriously watertight defense! Actually, we already have the key evidence we need. Huh? I mean, we've still got the rope here. The adjournment's almost over, let's go back. Mm. Oh, Paimon thinks she gets what you mean! We still have a lot of things to note. Lenny's statement, Lenny, Lenny claims that he headed to the chamber containing the Oratrice core upon entering the tunnel and did not witness the crime taking place, and thus did not hear the thud. The voice in the Oratrice core member. Lenny claims to have heard a mysterious voice within the chamber that houses the Aura. Oh. That mean oh, so it wouldn't have been like like a disembodied voice like we heard outside the the um the uh the fountain. That means there's someone else actually there, is what that's meaning, right? Hmm. I wonder. So, we technically are playing as Fatui right now. Interesting. Wait, what is this room? Ooh. Very fancy. Okay, let's go back. Gotta go fast. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! I'm here! Alright, this, this is really good. I'm freaking enjoying this. This is so good. The brief adjournment ends, the nail-biting trial reconvenes the nail-biting. Both parties have returned to their positions. Let us continue the trial. Indeed. When last we left off, Mr. Linney acknowledged the new evidence presented by Lady Farina as fact. Therefore, Lady Farina may continue stating her reconstruction of the look, evidence. Look, look at this smug little shit, dude. <laughs> Ugh, that took long enough. Now then, if everyone would lend me their attention, at this stage, Let's revisit that scene from Linny's perspective. Objection. I want that. I, I want that as a. I'm t oh, give me a second. I'm just screenshotting that as well. <laughs> that's, a re that's a really good shot, okay? You can't blame me. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, there we go. I got it. <laughs> oh! Based on the opposition's account of events, you can identify loopholes in their statements. Ooh. Evidence and evidence and clues obtained during the investigation will refute any erroneous assertions uh, of fact and replace them with new in in inferences. Use your refutations to convince the audience and obtain more support from the people. The orators will display such shifts clearly. 
When you find and refute all incorrect contents, you can complete the cycle of refutation and unveil the truth. Okay. Ooh. As the countdown began, he entered the tunnel. Hi, Fox. Phoenix Wright looks a little different from what I remember. <laughs> yeah. I love Farina's heterochromia. What does that mean? When the flatbed trolley Ooh. passed, he opened the box and got into an altercation with Halsey, this is which cool. caused the loud thud. He did not realize that this sound could be heard by everyone in the Opera House, which is why he claimed earlier that he could not hear the sound. Finally, he used the vase to knock her out, before making her change clothes to prevent others from recognizing her. At this time, Cowell arrived in the tunnel, having heard that strange noise, and caught Linny red-handed. So Linny proceeded to knock him out too before stuffing him into that box. This is really cool. Afterward, Linny passed the unconscious Halsey to his accomplice through the magic box in the audience stands before operating the devices such that Cal's death would be ruled an accident. Hmm. And there you have it. That's the truth behind what happened. That's also a huge assumption. <laughs> Does the defendant's side have any objections to Lady Farina's description of the events? Oh, yes. The key to refuting Lady Farina is the order of events. Cool. What Linny experienced and what he saw. Yeah, that's cool hearing uh, Lumin talk. Okay. Yeah. Linny did not take part in the underground altercation. He only witnessed traces of the aftermath. Oh, is that all I have to do? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Attention! Ace Detective Paimon. Detective Paimon has something to say! <laughs> I have to click the yeah. When the countdown started, Linny did indeed go into the tunnel. But he immediately used a vent to access the Opera House basement, which is where the underground core of the Oratrice is stored. Once he reached that area, he heard a voice in what should have been an empty room. Since he felt something was amiss, he returned immediately. The crime scene had already developed by the time he reached the tunnel again. And in order to complete the magic trick, he did not remain there for any length of time. Finally, he reached the surface, and that was when the accident happened from his point of view. Therefore, he's innocent! Hmm. There we go. Nice. In our favor. Successful refutation. So what happens next? This is cool. I'm I I love this. This is great. Paimon did it! Paimon actually managed to This is that. awesome. Oh, wasn't it awesome? You were awesome, Paimon. Oh, she's blushing! Oh, that's so cute. In other words, you believe that he knew nothing of the incident? Mm-hmm. That's right! Moreover, I believe my opposition's reasoning is flawed. Huh? My reasoning? Got him. The onstage equipment was clearly tampered with in a premediated fashion. If that's the case, then if Cowell hadn't entered the tunnel, who was the entire setup meant to kill? Ah. Assuming that <gasps> what you say is true. Because he's for Tui. He only needed to kidnap the young girl to cause a new disappearance case. What would the point of killing someone on stage be? Do they want to set him up to set it up to kill him because he's Fatui? They want to kill the Fatui, maybe? Oh, they have a point. Hmm. <laughs> that's right, you tell him. And that's why they're partners of mine. <laughs> They've managed to turn things around. Thank you, Navia. Oh, well, your denial is very strident. I'll give you that. But what proof do you have to back your claim? Do you happen to remember how you refuted Linny's alibi initially? <laughs> of course I do. If he had been in the magic box the whole time, how could he have not heard that sound? Why do you ask? He was, uh, underground. <laughs> You're saying that he wasn't? Indeed. Your claim has now become my weapon. Your claim has become a critical clue. Oh, a strange sound. Oh, okay. Linny wasn't in the box or in the tunnel. That's why he didn't hear anything strange during the performance. This means that when the crime happened, Linny had already entered the basement via the vent. 
The same clue you used to disprove his alibi <laughs> has now become the best proof! <laughs> How do you like that? <laughs> well played. Hell yeah. <laughs> to think you'd use such logic. Well then, if it wasn't Linny who committed the crimes, then who was it? Indeed, it'll be that voice we heard, right? The murderer was... Ooh. Select the gear icons in the interface to check the corresponding case questions. Select answers and you infill the empty gears to verify the correctness of your deduction. If you made mistakes, you must make another selection from the remaining options. Once you've answered all the questions correctly, you complete this logic chain. Okay. How did the culprit trigger the onstage accident? Well, they burned the rope, right? Yeah. With the fireworks, they replaced the rope with like a really burnable thing that that was burned by the fireworks, I'm assuming, that came out of the ground. Um, yeah. Yeah, speed to the water tank, suspending the water tank above and fully and kill Carl, yeah. If Linny is no longer under suspicion, only the other members of the troop would have been able to tamper with the props. Linny gave a detailed account of how the trick was supposed to work. By using a box inside a box, the idea was for the box containing the audience member to be transported across via a tunnel underneath. And Linny himself would also use this tunnel to get to the other side. Having changed her outfit, Lynette and her assistant would take charge of the onstage interactions. So that means Lynette's, you know, like, got an alibi. The clothes belonging to Halsley, the lady who went missing, were found in the tunnel. The reason for this remains unknown. Okay. Who was the only person who could have possibly committed the crime? No, oh, it would have been him, right? Name is Cowell, Can I select him? Yeah. Hypothesis correct. Let's go. Surely the dead guy isn't the culprit. Yeah, but see, he would have been alive before this all happened. Maybe he killed himself. From... Huh? Uh, hmm. That can't be right. Wait, am I wrong? Are you serious? Am I wrong? Let's hear your reasoning then. Wait, did I fuck up? But it makes sense though, right? What I must do next is recreate the truth. What Cowell did, and how he went from would-be perpetrator to victim. Okay. How can we envisage the Linny having, uh, as being, having been unable to interfere with the crime? He was in the... No one entered or left the opera. The sound we heard may have... It would have been... He would have been in here. People to fit. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Linny was not in the tunnel at that moment. He didn't hear a thud. He gave our criminal ample time. Uh, how can I prove that the alteration... It was an altercation in the tunnel. The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. No one entered or left the No, not that one. The sound we heard may have come from a clash. Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. The sound I think it was this one. I think it's this one. Yeah. Who is the prime suspect currently? The deceased's name is Cowell. Hmm. Where did the missing Halsey go? Halsey's clothing was in the tunnel. So, there must have been some fear that she would attract attention. Wait, wait where did she no go? No one entered or left the opera house through... It would have been tough for both people to fit into that vent. They would likely have bumped into Linny as well. So where did they go? I'm actually not sure what this one is, I'm a bit confused. I'm just gonna guess it. Yeah, I don't know what that one is. It would have been tough for both people to fit but... into that vent. They would likely have bumped into Linny as well. Yeah, like... But wouldn't have Linny, like, bumped into him, though? Like, that's what I'm not getting here. I don't, I'm a bit confused. Like, like they're implying that if, if Linny... If, if Linny didn't witness the crime, right? If if they went into the vent as well, they would have bumped into Linny, Linny would have seen them. Right? So, I... Mm, I mean, that's probably gonna get explained now, so I'm just gonna go with it. Wait, incorrect? What? The criminal must have understood the method behind Linny's magic trick, and must have been in a position to easily modify the equipment. Leaving aside how he died, Cowell, Cowell uh, hadn't had all the means to commit the crime at his disposal. The strange noise could likely have been the sound of Cowell and Halsley struggling. 
Lenina was not in the tunnel for one minute. This would have given time for Cowell to bring um, Horsey out of the magic box in the audience, uh, in the audience stands. But according to the guard's testimony, no one entered or left the opera house, so even if he had, it had, if he had taken her, there'd be no means of exiting. Yeah. Easing from the box would have been a full view of the audience, pretty much guaranteeing that would be dis they would be discovered. What's wrong, Traveler? Are you still having trouble figuring things out? Yeah, where, where in the world did she go? <laughs> I see how it is. So this was all just a bluff. And here I thought you had something to show for it. But it seems you're still far from the truth. Just give me a minute. Look, since we're at a dead end, why not consider a different track? Hmm. Just like the trick as it transpired, the end result must have been utterly different from the magician's initial design. If only we knew how Halsey disappeared. Hmm. Well, that would be nice, but the tunnel only has three exits, and none of them seem very likely. But it's not like this is a magic trick where you can just make a real live person disappear. You know, like you did from that water tank, Lynette. Escaping from the water tank? Wait, could it have been the water? <laughs> Excuse my interruption, dear oh. opponents. But do you not see that the crowd is growing impatient? There is no greater sin in this opera house than an awkward delay in the performance. Hmm. If the defense is unable to make further effective arguments, we will move on to the next stage of the trial. Objection! Lenny was not in the tunnel at that moment, which gave our criminal ample time. Yeah? The sound we heard may have come from a clash between the missing Halsey and the criminal. The deceased's name is Cowell, Lenny's assistant. He would have been able to tamper with the equipment. And the broken vase. The vase was not broken by chance. It was used to cover important evidence. The water. Oh. The water makes you disappear. Oh. <gasps> Paimon gets it! It all comes together if Halsey disappeared instead of being kidnapped! Ta da! <laughs> Lynette escaped from the water tank, this is so vanishing good. gradually and leaving only clothes behind. If there's a similar method where a person could be transformed into water. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's why her clothes are gone. It was just like Lynette's. Just a moment, please. I do hope you know how preposterous you sound at the moment. No, no, this makes a lot of sense when you think about it. How could a person ever be transformed into water? This is reality we're talking about here, not some magic trick. I request we examine Cowell's personal effects. We might find something there. Must we really? I should think of anyone your friend Linny already knows this truth very well magic tricks are ultimately just illusions and misdirection but Halsey's disappearance is very real we're talking about two completely different things yo don't point at me even so I trust the traveler's judgment the truth must be out there somewhere perhaps some new line of reasoning may open if we try to gather all the focal points that don't make sense since Cal was the deceased, we haven't placed much attention on him. Hmm. But given that we aren't making much progress with the case, it wouldn't hurt to have a look at his belongings, would it? <sighs> People really do come up with all sorts of harebrained schemes when at the end of their rope. The way I see it, your suggestion that we broaden the scope of our investigation is nothing but a tactic for stalling the trial. Nevertheless, I believe that this is a reasonable request on the part of an attorney. Since the trial does indeed appear to be at an impasse, I believe that additional evidence may help us make more progress. Guards, please step into the lounge and examine the personal effects of the deceased, Cowell. Hmm. After some time, a guard return returns with news. We are still examining the items, but we have already made critical progress that we feel must be shared with everyone post-haste. Ooh, here we go. We discovered several test tubes of fluid within Cowell's baggage, each labeled separately. Ooh! The notebook in his backpack claims that these fluids are... 
water from the primordial sea. Primordial sea? The primordial sea. The note's contents also indicate that Cowell belonged to an organization that sells illegal drugs and that he had an accomplice. Oh, spicy. The notebook has many entries concerning safe usage of these fluids, in which the keyword dissolve appears many times. One of these tubes was labeled Opera Epicles, along with yesterday's date. It is empty. The notes also state that these dissolution properties work exclusively on people from Fontaine. It's likely that Halsey was chosen as some sort of test subject. Oh, wait, wait, yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 she dissolved into the sea, right? That's the, that's to do with the uh, the thing that 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 story, the prophecy, right? And it only works exclusively on the people of Fontaine. It's from the primordial sea. So she got dissolved into the water? As such, we believe that the defense's hypothesis is, in fact, supported by sufficient evidence. You gotta be kidding! People dissolving into water? Could something so ridiculous actually be true? Wait a moment, this reminds me of a certain prophecy. Yeah. But it's just a coincidence, isn't it? Huh. If people can become water, does that mean that the water tank's real use was as a means to hide water stains? And if Cowell was targeting that girl... Wait just a minute. Could that mean... You two, with me, quick! Demoiselle, wait! What about your partners? Mm, let's go. Just trust me. Wait. Order! Order! Ooh, slamming that cane down. <laughs> It is undeniable that further examination of the deceased's personal effects has yielded some surprising results. But we cannot yet verify the veracity of these clues. Still, let us assume that these clues are indeed authentic, albeit with the understanding that Ms. Halsey has yet to be found. Guards, please continue examining the items along these lines. Mr. Linney, it appears your hypothesis is supported by the evidence, so please continue speaking. Of course. Thank you, Your Honor. If we uphold this hypothesis, I believe that many of this case's seemingly unrelated clues can be connected together. Right! Like the metal hook! That one didn't make sense at all! Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hmm. Let's think about this. Cowell's methods must have something to do with that water from the primordial sea. Water from the primordial sea. The liquid that guards found in Cowell's luggage seemed to have uh, the ability to dissolve Fontanians into water, based like because of the prophecy. Oh, so who's the primary? Yeah, this the guy. Deceased? What item did the culprit use to control the timing of the dissolution? I I'm assuming the hook, and they they use that the to dissolve them. The yep, yep. What item did the culprit use to hide the mechanism behind the crime? There we go. Okay. I still don't get the hook thing though. I hope they explain that. Ahem! It's Ace Detective Paimon's time to shine again! <laughs> In the original plan, Cowell would tamper with the water tank rope and the number selector securing his target. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, the Ooh. metal hook would retract gradually and pierce the balloon at the top of the box. Oh, you lost me a bit here. When the magic box containing Halsey was lowered, the metal hook would retract, gradually piercing the... Oh. When the balloon attached to the box popped, the water from the primordial sea inside it would pour down and dissolve Halsey. I don't know where the balloon came from. Afterward, Cowell would enter the tunnel and break the flower vase to conceal the water inside the tunnel, with the remaining evidence being covered up by the water tank on stage. But he encountered something unexpected in the tunnel and wound up being fatally hit by the same water tank he meant to use to cover his tracks huh that does make sense i'm, a, I'm a, still a little bit lost that actually links together a lot of the more confusing pieces of evidence i don't remember i don't remember a balloon hmm, hmm. <sighs> oh dear what do I do? <laughs> Even I think they sound convincing now. Have I falsely accused an innocent person? <sighs> what a humiliation. <laughs> now, 
It seems like the only point of contention remaining is the exact circumstances that led to Cal's death. Oh, in the box of Lenny. Oh, but it holds the water hurt effects, yet the permanent liquids dissolve people. Oh, okay. His notes mentioned he hmm. had an accomplice who could be related to the situation. Oh, yeah. Hmm. On that note, the guards have just contacted me, indicating that they uncovered new evidence. Oh, here we go. I shall now invite him on stage to share it with us. Cool. Thank you, Your Honor. We were just inspecting the luggage of the other people involved in this case. And we found an identical sample of the water from the Primordial Sea among Linny's personal effects. What? Huh? That can't be. <laughs> oh, I see. Well, how wonderfully comedic to have your own counterattack only to come back and wound you. That, that would have been like placed, right? That would have been... Like, he was probably was unaware. Does this not clear all doubt? Hmm. My dear citizens, my loyal audience, allow me to present my reasoning and bring this performance to a swift close. Oh, here we go. Vinny did not need to take part in the dissolution of the young woman at all. Indeed, he did leave the scene via the vent. Having made modifications to the props beforehand, his accomplice Cowl then caused Halsey to vanish using the water from the primordial sea. But upon his return, in cruel avarice, Linny desired sole credit and prepared to do away with his partner in crime. Mm, that's stretching it a bit, buddy. Ultimately, he knocked mm. Cowl out, and the tool meant to cover the crime up also became a murder weapon. Hmm. Now, as much as I regret having come to such a viciously straightforward conclusion, it does seem that the famed Fatui is quite the cold-blooded and ruthless organization. Hmm. Am I right, Mr. Linny? Hmm. We've used up all the evidence we collected. There's no way for us to make a rebuttal here. Is this the end of the road? Huh? What, what do you mean? What? Oh no! Mm, Paimon can't think of anything either! It doesn't look like there's any way around this! Oh, seems using the water as new evidence was too good a move! Oh, why did this have to happen now? I think we've all seen enough now. And we have ample witnesses to my flawless reasoning. Mm. I believe this is indeed the finale! Hmm. Now then, my good, noble Chief Justice, should we not, in your view, move... Huh? Excuse me, everyone, oh. but I must interject! Oh. Miss, I must ask you not to shout and to respect the ongoing legal proceedings. Oh, come on. Don't be hasty. I have a good reason for interrupting, you know. Love you. Now, would anyone here like to take a little break from all this debate and see a little magic... I'll show you an amazing trick. One that can bring a young woman who has disappeared back in the flesh. Ooh. Right before your very eyes. Oh. Please, do the honors, Mr. Linny, if you would be so kind. Wait, what? Uh, what in the world is she saying? Are we going to bring uh, Hisley back? No offense, miss, but miracles like that are beyond my scope as a magician. Come on now, don't be so... <laughs> a phrase that appears. Magic is all about misdirection, isn't it? It often conceals the truth while presenting a fascinating illusion. But once everyone believes the illusion, can't magic reveal the truth to them once again? And wouldn't such a trick be the most marvelous finale to today's performance? Come on, Lenny and Lynette, give it another go! Don't worry, Spina di Rasula has made the necessary arrangements on your behalf. Wait, what? But, as the magic makers and stars of the show, I think I should leave the final performance to you. I understand. Aww. Aww, she's lovely. And voila. Voila. Oh, shit. Um, uh, sorry for the interruption. Wait, isn't that Halsey? 
So the whole thing about people dissolving wasn't true after all? But they like brought her back? To be clear, I'm only here because this person told me that if I testified, the merit of doing so would lessen my sentence. Lessen your sentence? I was hiding outside this room listening to the proceedings because I was afraid that I would be the one put on trial. What? I was just feeling happy that no one had noticed me. And then before I knew it, she caught me. Oh. <laughs> I'll teach you to underestimate us three. Where should I begin? I'm sorry. I'm the one who killed Cowl. I admit it. Oh, what? What? Why? Firstly, my name isn't Halsey. It's Lillian. What? And I'm originally from Mondstadt. I heard that Linny's show was going to be a real thriller. But I missed the chance to buy a ticket. So, I stole one. That's how I make a living. I steal stuff here and there. What? And I'd never been caught before. Wait, no, she's the thief from... earlier. Whoa. But I was noticed at the harbor a few days ago, and I barely got away. Lenny was the one who caught me in the act. Hey! No wonder you look familiar! I was right! I was right! <laughs> I was right, she did look like the thief, because she is the thief. <sighs> Liddy even mentioned that you were pretty skilled. Well, and I thought that would have been the end of it, but then the number selector chose me. Mm. He even mentioned the Fortress of Meripede. That's a prison, isn't it? So you can imagine how shocked I was. I thought he was on to me for sure. So I played along with the show while looking for an opening to flee. But then I got water poured on me for no reason, and then someone jumped into the tunnel to nab me. Oh, so it didn't work. She's from Monster, not Fontaine, so she didn't dissolve. I wasn't going to take that lying down, so I knocked him out and stuffed him into the box. Oh. There was nowhere to run from there, though, so I had to change my clothes and hide in a box containing performance costumes. I slipped out after the first guard arrived at the scene and continued hiding inside the opera house. So she was in that box that we never f ch Can a person even hide in there? If they're, if they're a practice at hand of concealment, probably. Oh, but like, I still feel like we should have checked the boxes, like inside. Isn't that something that, mm, See, I, I get that. So this, this, this makes sense. That's just, that's just one thing that bothers me. I feel like if we're looking for clues, we should check everything. Like checking inside cupboards, inside boxes, everything. And we didn't do that and we missed her because of that reason. But I swear, I didn't know that the water tank would fall down. Really, I swear it. Had I known that, I wouldn't have put him in the magic box. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. Well, that makes everything pretty clear now, doesn't it? Yeah, now it's time to refute the Hydro Archon's previous reasoning. This time, we need to tell the entire story from Lillianne's perspective. That's a cool twist to know, but I'm still a little bit disappointed that she was just hiding in the box, basically, of props. Like, I feel like we probably, when we were looking for clues, we should have discovered her or something, you know? Like, uh, it's a, that rubs me the wrong way a little bit, but uh, it's still a cool twist regardless. Okay, here we go. She stole the macarons. <laughs> Good job, Paimon. Having been selected out of the blue, Lillian panicked. Her panic only intensified after she entered the tunnel and had water poured on her head. So she kicked the door open, producing the thud we all heard. Hearing the commotion, Cowl leapt into the tunnel, only to discover that Lillian had not dissolved. He did not know that Lillian was not from Fontaine, but was a thief who made her way in by stealing a ticket. Ah, this also explains how the girls went missing too. They've been dissolved. Mistakenly hmm. believing that the water from the primordial sea needed time to take effect, he tried to force Lillian back into the box. The two broke the flower vase during the struggle, but Lillian came out on top, knocking Cowl out and putting him in the box. Hmm. With no way of escaping, she changed her clothes and hid in the costume trunk until the performance ended. Wait, so did she come out? 
Did she come out after the performance ended, but no people would have seen her? Hmm. She knew that she would have to go through guard inspection if she tried to leave afterward. So, she has been trapped in the opera house these last two days! She said she left the box when the first guards arrived. She, we probably went to the first ones to check out the time. Oh, I see. Okay, that makes more sense. So we actually wouldn't have found her if we did check it out. Oh, okay. Gotcha. She had already become desperately hungry by the time we were chatting over macarons. Oh! So she swiped two of them right under our noses. Oh! Talk about a sneaky thief. There you go. Holy shit. At this point, all the events that happened in the tunnel have That's cool. come to life. See, now, see, I like it now because now it makes sense. Uh, Story. Bravo! Bravo! Yeah, see, they're saying all this is a show. Oh, it's in our favor now. <laughs> Take now that, folks. Law. Lady Farina, do you wish to speak against the defense's statements? I. Uh, um. Ah, I got him. Please answer the question, Lady Farina. Also, if I may add, the trial has not yet ended. Oh. As such, I request that the prosecution not leave the room before the proceedings have concluded. Oh, yo, she's on it now. What? Oh, she's blushing. My mind now. <laughs> Don't point at him. No, I have no further arguments. I admit defeat. But really, could you at least have left me with some dignity? No. Wow. Look at that. She's like a deflated balloon now. <laughs> if there are no objections, then as the Chief Justice of Fontaine, I shall once again repeat the full sequence of events. The actual perpetrator of the serial disappearances, Cowell, selected his next victim from the audience reservation list. With some modifications to the selector, he could ensure that the pre-selected young woman would be chosen. To cover up any evidence while committing the deed, Cowell thought of allowing the water tank to fall, which would conceal the water left behind after the young woman was dissolved. He also tampered with the rope suspending the water tank, using the fireworks at the end of the performance to cause the tank to drop and hide the watermarks. He poured the water from the primordial sea into a balloon during the preparation of the magic box and stuck it to the box's lid. Hmm. Finally, he passed the prepared hook on a rope through the gap in the magic box's door when bringing the young woman to said box. When the magic trick officially began, the box containing the woman was lowered into the tunnel, tightening the hook rope and bursting the balloon containing the water. If all had gone to plan, the young woman would be dissolved at this time. However, Lillianne was not from Fontaine and thus fled the box with a loud noise. Oh. Realizing that there was trouble, Cowell entered the tunnel and met Lillianne. Thinking that the waters had not yet taken effect, he decided to proceed. However, his opponent was more capable than he thought, mm. and he was overcome, knocked unconscious, and placed into the magic box, and thus became his own final victim. Lillianne, according to her own statements, then changed clothes and hid until the performance ended, before hiding in other parts of the opera house. As for Linny, he was in the underground structures within the Opera House, and was thus ignorant of these happenings. From this reconstruction of events, we can conclude that Linny, the accused, is in fact innocent. Let's go! Hooray, Linny and Lynette! Amazing! While there is much in Linny and Lillianne's conduct that should still be investigated separately, this case, at least, can be handed over to the Oratrice to make the final decision. Oh. Wait, well. oh. <laughs> oh, it makes like a little wee ticket thing. As such, Linny and Lynette are officially declared not guilty. Let's go. <laughs> I hope you keep those glasses, Paimon. Great work, partners. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Let's not celebrate just yet. Next, I think we deserve an explanation, Guard Vaughn. How mm -hmm. did you find the water from the Primordial Sea in Linny's baggage? Uh, right! Wait, what? Your discovery caused me to make a serious mistake, you know! Or was that not a discovery, but false 
evidence that you dare to bring before this court! I suspect that the accomplice mentioned in Cowell's notes was not Linny, but you, yes? I... Oh! Uh... I'm sure you know what you must do to lessen your sentence. Speak quickly! Unless you want to earn yourself a one-way ticket to Coupon Town. I... I was just following orders. We were supposed to place blame for the serial disappearances onto Linny, and thus cause suspicion to fall on the Fatui. The higher-ups said this was the best opportunity to do so. The higher-ups? And now that your plan has fallen through, and the secrets of the water have been revealed, you have become a liability to said higher-ups, yes? Therefore, you would be wise to tell everything you know, and seek the protection of the guards. Yes, hmm. I'll tell you everything I know. Our boss discovered that the water can cause people to dissolve. Oh, is, is it Ala, Ala, Alachino? Alachino? I sort of forgot how to pronounce her name. It can also be made into a potion, which, when extremely diluted, can cause people to experience unforgettable exhilaration. Oh. We've been in this business for a while now, and have made decent mora off it. The disappearances were also the boss's idea. I mean, this is the boss we're talking about. The... <laughs> Oh, did he dissolve? <gasps> and now he can no longer talk. Oh, shit. Such ruthlessness. <sighs> I shouldn't have expected any less of them. An outrageous act. All present, please submit to inspection immediately. However, nothing is found on the scene apart from the liquid leaf behind out of Vaughn dissolved. Damn.